This is your NBC 26 update. I'm Nina Sporano. Here are today's numbers from the Department of Health Services on the pandemic here in Wisconsin. With fewer than 10,000 test results, just over 2,400 new cases of the virus were found. 74 deaths are being reported as COVID-related. With some help from NBC 26, the Green Bay Metro Fire Department will make this holiday season special for some local teens. Today, firefighters delivered presents to the Salvation Army in the Gifts for Teens drive. More than 700 gifts were dropped off. The neatest thing of the whole process really is that this is a community event. And so the public helps us, the firefighters help, we have the businesses that will help. And so it's Brown County coming together for their teens. And really this is just us showcasing that generosity. So wonderful to see the generosity, especially during these tough times. NBC 26 is a proud spot partner of the Gifts for Teens Drive. Time now for a check on our weather. Here is Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. All right, as we head through the next seven days, we're going to see above normal temperatures. We just wrapped up three days with highs in the 20s, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We had 30s today, and we're going to see 30s once again tomorrow. We'll have a lot of clouds mixing with some spotty sunshine. Temperatures will be in the lower 30s. On Friday, a gusty southerly wind will push us into the upper 30s to around 40. We'll see a mixture of sun and clouds. A cold front Saturday morning will touch off maybe a light wintry mix and then sun and clouds by the afternoon. Our next chance of precipitation will be Monday morning and then warming up mid 40s before some colder weather arrives and perhaps some snow next Wednesday. That's the system we need to watch for the best chance for all of us to have a white Christmas this year. Have a great night, everybody.